Blessings. Blessed is the one who patiently endures his sorrow, for he will find in his own meekness the strength to continue to carry his cross along his path of evolution. Blessed is the one who humbly endures humiliation and knows how to forgive those who have offended him, for I will bring justice to him. But woe unto those who judge the deeds of their brothers, for they in turn will be judged. Blessed is the one who, obeying the first mandate of my law, loves me above everything created. Blessed is the one who allows me to judge his cause, whether it is just or unjust. Blessed is he who humbles himself on earth, for I will exalt him. Blessed is he who is slandered, for I will testify of his innocence. Blessed is he who gives testimony of me, for I will bless him. And he who is rejected for practicing my doctrine, I will recognize him. Blessed be those who, falling and rising, are weeping and blessing me. Those hurt by their own brethren, confide in my deep within their heart. Those small and sorrowful, ridiculed, but meek and for that reason strong in spirit, are truly my disciples. Blessed is he who praises the Lord's will. Blessed is he who praises his own bitter circumstances, knowing that it cleanses his stains, for he is pressing his steps for ascending the spiritual mountain. All await the light of a new day, the dawn of the peace that will be the beginning of a new era. The oppressed await the day of their liberation, while the sick hope for the balsam that will return to them their health, strength and happiness. Blessed are those who know how to wait until the last moment, for to them what they have lost will be returned with increase. I bless their waiting, for it is proof of their faith in me. Blessed are the faithful, blessed those who remain strong until the end of the trials. Blessed are those who have not wasted the strength imparted by my teaching, for they in the bitter times to come, shall pass through the vicissitudes of life with strength and light. Blessed are those who praise me on the altar of creation, and those who know how to receive the consequences of their faults with humility, not attributing them to divine punishment. Blessed are those who know how to do my will and accept their trials with humility. All of them shall love me. Exhortation for Development Blessed are those who, with humility and faith, ask me for their spirits to progress, for they will receive that which they request of their Father. Blessed are those who know how to wait, for my charity will come to their hands at the right moment. Learn how to ask and also how to wait, knowing that nothing escapes my charity. Trust that my will shall be manifested in each one of your needs and trials. Blessed are those who dream of a paradise of peace and harmony. Blessed are those who have scorned and seen with indifference the trivialities of the superfluous, the vanities and passions that do no good for man and less for his spirit. Blessed are those who have set aside the fanatical practices that lead nowhere and have distanced themselves from old and erroneous beliefs to embrace the absolute truth, naked and clean. I bless those who renounce the external to enter into meditation, love and inner peace, for they understand that peace is not offered by this world, but can be found inside yourselves. Blessed are you in whom the truth does not inspire fear nor scandal, for I tell you truly that the light will fall like a cascade upon your spirit to sate forever your thirst for light. Blessed is he who listens, assimilates, and practices my teachings, for he shall know how to live in the world as well as how to die to this world, and when the time comes, knows to awaken to eternity. Blessed is he who delves deeply into my word, because he has learned the reason for the pain 
and the meaning behind the restitution and atonement. And so, instead of becoming desperate or blaspheming, and thereby increasing his sorrow, he stands up full of faith and hope for the struggle, so that the weight of his guilt is every day less, and the cup he must drain less bitter. Serenity and peace are for those men of faith who accept the will of their Father. Your advancement or evolution will permit you to find my truth and perceive my divine presence, in the spiritual just as in each one of my works. I will then say to you, Blessed are those who know how to see me in everything, for it is they who truly love me. Blessed are those who know how to feel me with their spirit, and even through their material form, for these are the ones who have sensitized their entire being, those who have truly become spiritualized. You know that from my high throne I wrap the universe in my peace and my blessings. All is blessed by me at every hour and during each instant. No curse or abomination has ever nor will come from me for my children. And so, without distinguishing between sinners and the just, I make my blessing, my kiss of love and peace descend upon all of them. My peace be with you.